Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. I want to start by saying thank you to Reverend Tim, Miss Jackie, and Mr. Jonathan for helping all of us through our confirmation journey. Thank you also to all of our parents and all of our mentors. We appreciate all the time and effort you've put into supporting us and teaching us. We learn about the Bible, about Jesus' teachings and life, and the history of Christianity. Our confirmation class was able to worship at a Catholic church, and we visited a synagogue during Hanukkah and a mosque just after Ramadan. We also learned about the history of the United Church of Christ and how several denominations came together to form it. In 1 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul says, For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. Later on, he says, but God has so arranged the body that there may be no dissension within the body, but the members may have the same care for one another. If one member suffers, all suffer together with it. If one member is honored, all rejoice together with it. I think this verse is saying that we are all connected. And as Paul also said, we can't ignore or not care for any of the other members. If we care for each other, we will be able to come together as one body. An example from my life, when I felt like we really came together was as one, was when my whole family was on vacation a few years ago in India, and we went to visit and tour a famous church called the Basilica of Bom Jesus. When we were done with the tour, we came out and we all scattered around taking pictures of the church, other buildings around it, and the scenery. Suddenly, it started pouring rain, and everyone in the family rushed under a nearby banyan tree. We didn't all have umbrellas, but everyone who had umbrellas started putting them up, and we all huddled together under them. We were all protected from the rain because we came together and shared the umbrellas. In our confirmation class, we discussed how in our congregation, the people, all of us, have the power to make decisions. Our country was founded on the same principle, that the people have the power so they can make it better. But in order to do that, we need to come together. In order to make anything better, in order to accomplish anything, in order to progress as a society, we must come together as one. Even though we may not always agree, we need to put aside our differences to focus on our common goals and make decisions that are good for everyone. For example, a basketball team that works together will win way more than a team that is fighting amongst themselves. Unless they wear maize and blue, then they'll lose either way. <laughs> All jokes aside, when a team isn't working together well, they'll be hogging the ball, not passing, and not helping each other out. And that will make it easy for the other team to steal the ball from them. But when a team is working together, and helping out their teammates, scoring and winning becomes so much easier. Unfortunately, today's world looks a lot like the team that is not working together. People seem to be fighting over everything imaginable. We have been focusing on our differences rather than everything we have in common. And that leads to us fighting about things we shouldn't have to be fighting about rather than coming together to make things better in the world. As Dumbledore says in Harry Potter, we are only as strong as we are united, as weak as we are divided. Even though sometimes it feels like we're so different from each other, we're all human and we are all dependent on each other. We can accomplish so much more when we come together with others and act as one body. Amen. <laughs>